Um, honestly, I thought the start of our game was pretty good. The first 15 minutes, uh, I thought we were the better team and dictate a lot of the play. And then, um, you know, they score score two quick ones and get get the lead, and um, just not enough pushback. What would you like to see change when you know things start to slide? As Jacob just said, a slippery slope. What do you how do you what do you want to see to try and dig out in them moments like those? Well, you just got to get your confidence going. You know, I think um, you don't want to run around, and it's easy as a as a spectator to to want guys to start running around like chickens with their head cut off. But it's not going to win you games either. I've been on teams that have uh, gone the wrong way doing stuff like that. So it's really just getting back to our foundations and what makes us good. And um, at the end of the day, we're just not making confident enough plays and executing at a high enough level to you know to make life difficult on their goalie and um, and other teams are capitalizing on the mistakes that we make. Do you like, like there's not a lot of teams in this league that are below 500 in their home building. How, how much does that lack of home ice success bother this group? Well, it's disappointing. You know, it's you know, ideally in this league, you're uh, you know your home record's generally better than your road record, but uh, obviously it's not the case for us right now. And um, I mean, you know, rightfully so, we get booed today and. You know, it's it's quiet because we're not generating much, and um, you know, we've had spurts where it's been good, but it's uh, not consistent enough. And like I said, I think if we capitalize on a few chances in that first 15 minutes, maybe the building gets into it, we start feeling good. Uh, maybe it's a different script. So, um, just was what it was. We uh, we just got two down um, when the chips started to fall, and you know, we got to find ways. I think I said it last game too. Just find ways to get the the building into the game, you know, it's uh, it's quiet at times and it's quiet on our bench and, you know, we need to be loud on our bench and, and we need to give, you know, people reasons to get out of their seat. Uh, like you, how does you it see feel it? when you see, you know, the goaltender who's been keeping you in so many games, you know, pulled from the game and I guess you guys feel like you let him down? Yeah, we all know it's not Marky being pulled for his play. Um, if anything, sometimes, you know, coaches will do it to see if they can get a reaction or a spark out of the team and, um, you know, he's he's the reason we win a lot of games, and he's the reason uh, you know that we are where we are. So you, you just uh, yeah, you're you're disappointed more in yourself uh, for letting it get to that point. And um, you know, he's a guy that we all care about and want to play hard for. And uh, it's disappointing that we let him down again. Like, did you see the like the fans throw the octopus and that means all the time? Let's say, do guys on the bench notice that, or when an opposing fan does something like that at your home rink? I didn't even know until you said it. I didn't even know that happened. Like, is it too easy to say trade talk is getting to these guys? I don't think it's trade talk. Um, you know, this group's done a good job of keeping the noise out and playing hard. It's it's not a lack of effort or, or want to win. It's just like I said, we're not executing and um, we're not we're not making confident plays and. Um, you know, every team in the league's got trade talk right now, one way or another. Um, that's that's what this time of year brings about, and you know, you got to be a big boy and and push that noise out and and just play your game.